have you ever found yourself coming back from usually an injury or an illness that left you unable to do things that were always part of your normal everyday functioning? And when that happened for you, were you anxious to get back into your life as you used to know it? Well, that's what's happened to me in the last week or two. And what you're about to see is me being very, very excited about singing and playing a guitar, which is something I used to, used to, used to do all my life since I was eight years old. Well, the guitar, I didn't start till 12, but the point is my voice isn't back 100%. And my fingers are just getting back into guitar playing. And it's probably been 15, 20 years since I played on a classical guitar because I've been playing electric. So what you're about to see is a lesson I wanted to share with you. And it's okay that I'm not perfect. And you know what? It's okay for you to share aspects of you even if they're not as perfect as they used to be, as you'd like them to be. Because the only way to get back to that point is by doing them. So the song that I'm sharing with you here, it's not a funny thing, though my kids always liked it when they were little. My daughter even used it when she was very young for an audition piece. But as you'll see in my speaking about the song, it's a really important lesson for our times today. And I thank you for continuing to watch. It's a short lesson, but I can't really think of anything more powerful for us to be doing right now. Young, old people 
are people and no one person is better or less than another person. We're all here to live in love and enjoy. And those are the two highest frequencies. And that's how you know, that's why we're here. And that's why we're pursuing love and joy. And how do you allow that in? Well, you got to start with loving you first. Because if you don't love you first, why would anybody else want to love you or feel an energy drawing them to you? Joy, that's something that comes from within for you. Because what joy is for me is going to be different for you. Now, that can be a sore point in relationships parent to child, spouse to spouse, friend to friend, child to parent. Because we each define happiness. We each define joy differently. What feels good and makes me happy. And therefore, I assume the same things feel good and make you happy. Boy, I could be way out of sync with you. And then you don't see any way that I'm making you happy or any way that you're feeling loved by me. And the reverse is going to be true. So what can you do about it? What you can do about it is quite simple, quite obvious. What do you think you can do about it? I can't hear you. You guys speak louder. Oh, wait. I guess you can't because it's a video. What you can do is go down below and respond to me and tell me how you define love, how you define happiness, how you define joy for you. And even more important than telling us, tell your spouse, tell your parents, tell your friends, tell your kids because people who care about you, people who are in your world, people who are attracted to you, they want to be part of what makes you happy as they want you to be part of what makes them happy. So, you know, I always talk about the invisible forces that are driving us. Those invisible forces are what's in our hearts and going out to the world and causing us to behave a certain way. And maybe it's a way that's welcome, that makes sense to others, but maybe it isn't. So stop trying to figure it out up here in your mind, because that's never going to work. Tune into your heart and allow your heart to connect invisible forces to connect with the people who are important to you. Just do one at a time, one person at a time. When you allow yourself to shut out all the stuff in your environment, I recommend closing your eyes. It will make it a whole lot easier to just tune in to what you're feeling, to what you're noticing, that you're going to recognize in a minute, in two minutes, in three minutes, in five minutes, you're going to recognize, hey, this isn't me. This is Joan over there. Or this is Bob. Oh, and Bob was 3,000 miles away from me. But there's no such thing, not in reality, as distance time. So you're tuning into your friend who lives on the other side of the world. You know, if you went by plane, by jet, it would still take you 24 hours to get there. But not when you're connecting heart to heart. I thank you so much 
for joining us here today for Let's Get Metaphysical Connecting Heart and Mind. I am Reverend Allie Bierman, and I invite you to join our Facebook group. What's in our Facebook group? It's a place where you can meet other people like you, people on their spiritual path. And that reminds me, if you haven't already, download Taking Your First Steps on Your Spiritual Path link as all the others will be in the show notes. You're here and you're listening and you come back and you come back because you're finding your way toward your own spirituality because it's personal. Nobody out there can tell you what your spiritual beliefs are. Nobody can tell you what's in your heart. So when you go into the Facebook group, look for a friend who's on the same journey as you, because that's who listens. And go on over to our website where you can listen to or watch any episode. You know, when you join our community, you get to be one of the Epic Adventure Seekers, and you support the show so I can keep bringing it to you because it's a priority in my life to spread clarity for people on their spiritual path because it's defined by love and joy. And when you apply love and joy in your life, everywhere in your life, oh, your world's going to look so different. The people and the adventures, I'm calling them adventures, that you attract into your world, you're going to change. I think next time I'll be talking to you about 10x. What the heck is 10x? Well, I'm definitely going to talk to you next time because you have a choice every day with your life. You can waste the day away or you can shoot to do more than you imagined you could get done in a day. I know I do every day. So I feel really good. Also usually feel pretty tired when I get in bed to get to sleep at night. How about you? You can also go on over to Audible, get yourself a kickstart for next month. Grant Cardone's book. What's it called? The 10x rule. With your free trial, by clicking my link in the show notes, you get 30 days free trial to download a book of your choice. I recommend the 10X rule. It's very clearly written. There are many books written with that title. That one speaks to me in a language I can really put together. And I'm definitely going to talk to you about his ideas because some of his ideas are... There are different angles of what I share with you. So I want to share why mine are different from what he's talking about. I think it leads to the same outcome. Remember to enjoy, that's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, every moment, because nothing in your life is experienced outside of you. It all happens within. Anyway, I look forward to being here with you next time.